Hello, uh, day with Caleb, and <laughs> this video, yes, we're back at Dollar Tree, not physically back, uh, we kind of just ran in there for some other supplies, I'm like, I'm not going to get anything, which is what I always say when I go to Dollar Tree, but then your mind thinks, hey, it's only a dollar, hey, Here's something, but at the, the end of this pile, you will see there were things in there that are totally worth a dollar, maybe uh, more than a dollar, <laughs> but some of these, you know, you buy because it's only a dollar and then you regret it and it just kind of sits on your shelf. <laughs> Not the case with this first one. This first one is an upgrade. Kill me three times with uh, the salmon. Yes, yeah, salmon pig, who is fantastic in the Mission Impossible films, and of course the Coronado trilogy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Edgar Wright's trilogy of movies with Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, fantastic. The third one, not as good as the first two, but that's beside the point. Then A Night in Old Mexico, Robert Duvall. Looks like a, kind of a old western, like Clint Eastwood type, where he kind of saves the day. That's kind of what, yeah, the this cowboy ain't done yet, so kind of the basic archetype for that. Looks interesting though, I do enjoy Robert Duvall. Then Two Graves in the Desert, that's a title right there. William Baldwin, Michael Madsen. Hmm. And I guess it's in Vegas. Interesting. I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember grabbing that, but it looks it looks very interesting. Then we have some uh, Sesame Street uh, Mu Chris Muppet stuff. If you're out there, we have two two things from Dollar Tree. Silly Story Time. You can see Elmo and Kermit there. Then this is Sesame Street Spoofs. Huh. So these look interesting. I do enjoy Sesame Street. So I got those two releases. Then this is Zara, Zara Man? Zara Man? It's a superhero film. So of course I'm going to get it. Especially if it's at Dollar Tree because it's only a dollar and I'm a sucker for anything superhero related. <laughs> Why? Why do I do that? But I did find the the Ant Boy movies at Dollar Tree. So you can find not that I'm saying those are like box office smashes, smash hits, but I do enjoy the Ant Boy movies. Uh, this is the Pale Door. Writer of Boba Tip and Cold in July. This is a, a very uh, different direction from Boba Tip. But that artwork intrigues me and it looks kind of in the vein of Western, so. Then we have Woody Allen in Zelig. Josh kind of recommended that one. I haven't seen all of Woody Allen, uh, his whole filmography, and that's one I was certainly not aware of. Then we have Gunpowder. Is this another? I think I just picked up a bunch of questions. <laughs> uh, then a uh, quiz. Is this? Yeah, this is a the kind of this, the game show scandal. They did do a a, a film about this. This must be the remake of that. 
are, you know, based on the same thing. So interesting. Another upgrade, Surviving Christmas with Ben Affleck. Kind of a Christmas film that, that not a lot of people talk about. And, you know, it's not the best, but it's it's pretty funny. And uh, Ben Affleck kind of renting a family for Christmas. That's a novel idea and pretty, pretty uh, neat concept. Then the big combo. Do I know any of these people? Cinema Deluxe. When was this? 1954. So that's interesting. In kind of a slim case, which is interesting as well. 54, huh? Then we have... Cameron Diaz in Things You Can Tell Just By Looking At Her. So an ensemble cast. Looks, looks interesting. Then we have a documentary of uh, Obscene. So a uh, biography on Barney Rossett. The in the influential publisher, huh? So magazine publisher. Then we have the Maleficent, Malif Malevent, uh, Queen. I can't read. So <laughs> Malevolent. Okay, I'm the the Queen. We'll just say. Then uh, we did get some. Are these Studio Ghibli or just uh, anime? I think they're just anime. They, that kind of looks Studio Ghibli, doesn't it? Penguin Highway. That really looks Studio Ghibli. It might be. It just, I don't see that on here. So. That looks very interesting. Then, Sam, uh, you, Unium, you, Euphonium. I, I can read today, man. <laughs> ah. Go back to school, I guess. And then these are what I'm most excited about, uh, to find, especially at Dollar Tree. You wouldn't think Digimon uh, would be at Dollar Tree, especially series like these. So, very sad. And these are way worth way more than a dollar. Digimon Adventure Try Confession. And these are, I guess, different volumes. I'm not too familiar with the Tri series, but looks like these are three of the volumes. So we have Confession, Coexistence, and Reunion. And this is my favorite character in the Digimon series. And I've said it before, I don't think it's any secret now that I do enjoy Digimon over Pokemon. But with uh, Detective Pikachu, it, you know, Pokemon's kind of, I've warmed up more to Pokemon, if we can say. But Digimon will always be the first love, if you will between the two. It was just such a great show. After kind of season two, maybe kind of midway through season three, we kind of stopped uh, watching the series. We used to watch every, every Saturday morning we would watch Digimon. I think right after Digimon, Monster Rancher would would come on. Who remembered Monster Ranchers out there? Anybody comment down below? 
Did you prefer Digimon over Pokemon, or were you Pokemon all the way, uh, wanting to collect them all? Now, in middle school, uh, we had people that would collect Pokemon cards, and T.Y. was kind of right at the peak, uh, around that time. So, people were trading... Pokemon cards, they were getting TY figures, and they were getting the, is it Mary Blair, the stickers and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, a way different time back in the, the late 90s, early 2000s, but uh, very neat to get these regardless. And uh, I don't always go into Dollar Tree, but when I do, I spend way more money than I need to spend on movies. But this time it did pay off at least uh, for three of them. <laughs> we'll see about the others. Like, subscribe, share with a movie friend, and... Help me out uh, with my Dollar Tree addiction. Help me not <laughs> to go back for a while. Uh, maybe some some therapy or something. Uh, hope you enjoyed and keep collecting. Maybe not Dollar Tree, but keep <laughs> keep collecting. And we'll see you later.